How do you do? Okay. How cold are you? I, I am a little cold, yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am. A little cold. And are you? Uh, yeah, I'm freezing. Oh, I'm sorry. But that's all right. You don't have to apologize for that. I mentioned it was California. It was March. It would be warm. But it's usually not that it bad. is. Actually, usually it's one of our best months. <laughs> I know. But it's not that bad. It's not that bad, really. Oh, good. I just didn't expect it. I think that's what the shock is. That's all right. The color of your eyes is mesmerizing. It's kind of a hazel, olive green, lo lovely color. All right. Thank you very much. Of course. I'm hoping that you're in my shot. You are? Okay. Um, sir, you started when you were around eight years old as a dancing Irish. <laughs> dancing that... Irish. But, but everybody in Ireland dances. Yeah, I, I did Irish dancing. Like, I went to school and wore a kilt and did step dances. Yeah. The, the, the famous clog dancing, or what is it called? Uh, we call it step dancing. Step dancing. Step yeah, dancing. and you can use either light shoes, like ballet shoes, black, that you would be light on your feet, or you use heavier shoes with might have nails in them, and you'd... you'd like a tap dance. Oh, all right. So they did the both. Um, so you also have been in musicals, right? I what? You've been in musicals? I, I wouldn't say uh, I'm musical. I, I've been in musicals, but I hardly sing. But it's true. I've been in a, in a, in a musical on stage in a musical film called uh, The Phantom of the Opera. Oh, my. That's I, right. I was oh in, the, in the film of Phantom of the Opera, and I did actually sing. Yeah, which surprised everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like including yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, and as well, you were in There Will Be Blood. I believe you were in that movie. I was, uh, you believe correctly. Uh, and uh, that was another thrill in my life to work with Paul Thomas Anderson and Daniel Day-Lewis and, and Paul Dano. Uh, um, Paul Thomas Anderson is one of the great, great auteurs writer filmmakers that we have in the world today in and America, has been for certainly. many years yes. no but in the world I mean, yes. for many years he's Thank been you. there and uh, to, just to be invited on board to play a little role was a thrill and to watch uh, Paul Thomas and uh, Paul and Daniel day Lewis fight and wrestle over the script was a, was a great privilege oh, to watch that to watch oh, it. Oh, nice. yeah. and as well the Game of Thrones I think uh, no, that was my brother. Oh, that was your brother. Okay. No, no, okay, it was me. Oh, huh. uh, yeah. Sorry. I, I yeah, should have I know. known that Irish humor would <laughs> yeah, pop up somewhere. I know. Well, we try, we try some things we'd like to deny that we were responsible oh, oh, for. <laughs> but, yeah, Game of Thrones. Another great... Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend a holiday in Ice, northern Iceland in December, <laughs> uh, which is when we did uh, five days' work. Oh. The good thing about it was there was only uh, about six hours of daylight to shoot in. Oh, so, so, you so you couldn't be out, you couldn't be, they, they, they didn't have to actually set fire to you to, uh, oh my gosh. to de defrost you. <laughs> okay. And we spoke with Sir Kenneth Brunel the other night and he said that you lived approximately in the same neighborhood together at the same time. We did, we did. We were about a mile away from each other, uh -huh. if that. And um, he, of course, is a little bit younger than me. Uh, we went to separate schools because I was born Catholic, he was right. born Protestant, right. so we'd never have met. Uh, but we did go to the same cinema house. There was just one cinema in North Belfast. So we were not just Belfast, we were North Belfast. And there was one cinema there called the Capitol. And I didn't know at the time, and Ken wouldn't have known at the time, but we both, we might have been in that cinema at right. the same time, oh, yes. uh, watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang for all I know. Oh, Chitty yeah. Chitty Bang Bang. Um, so how did you end up together? How did he find you and cast uh, well, you Ken, well, I, I mean, obviously I knew of Ken and he'd heard of me. He, he, was, very, uh, he was very kind about me, about knowing who I was from a long while back, even if I didn't have a, a big profile. You have a huge uh, profile. And he, um, he said he'd always wanted to work with me in some project, and this seemed to be very close to home, very mm -hmm. truthful. Mm -hmm. And he imagined between the mixture of the four of us that we would be able to connect and create a family mm -hmm. that wouldn't impersonate his family, oh, but right. would give the spirit well, right. of the family. That's right, of yeah. course, because you lived there. Yeah. And you went through the troubles. Uh, yeah, I left when I was about 19. I okay. went to London, so for about four years I was there. But I'd always, always come back. Summer, holidays, Christmas, yeah, it was dark times, dark times, and hopefully they won't come back. Yeah. Thank you so very much for taking time to speak with me. Congratulations on all your awards. Thank you. We really hope Belfast wins. We really do. That's all right. It's, uh, it's just a delight to be here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.